day. Publish your journey videos a day. How you doing? So today I worked on uh, publishing. Basically, I recently published a new book. It's about stone skipping, basically throwing a rock on a lake and it bounces. And it's a very unique topic. And uh, again, I found a method how to discover unique niches. So if you're interested, join my program and I will show you how I find these unique niches. Okay. On top of that, I don't just go for unique niches. I go for all topics from A to Z. I go for general niches as well. I, I go for unique niches. I go for general niches. I go for all topics from A to Z. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I just published a new book about stone skipping. It's called How Expert Guide to Stone Skipping. It's available as an ebook on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Google Playbooks, Kobo, Apple, you name it, it's, all, it, it's everywhere. So go check it out, okay? I also listen to all the auditions for the day, audiobook, voiceover, narrative, auditions for the day. And uh, I'm just gonna be uh, frank with you guys, honest. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting tired of, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my. I respect everyone who puts in effort and, and and puts it out there, but I don't know what it is about. I don't want to. I, I want to be respectful. Like I've listened to probably over ten thousand narrators auditions over the years, okay, and I published over almost five hundred audiobooks on Amazon, Audible, iTunes. So, and throughout that process, you know, in the beginning, I would hire anyone and everyone beginning just to turn my business around. And I did that through my books. But over the years, as, I, as my business improved, I got pickier and pickier. And I, I, could, I had to because now one book would change my life. So I had a higher standard in terms of the narrators I was looking for. Higher quality microphone, higher quality voice, et cetera, et cetera. I've even had narrators, I found out later, I've seen them on TV commercials. I've seen it on them, after I hired them, maybe a couple years later, some of them have even been on TV shows. I won't name names, but they've been on TV shows. I've also hired narrators. I looked in their history. They've done audiobooks for classic, like a classic book, okay, in finance. The Market Wizards, go look it up. That narrator, that's a classic book that most people know in the entrepreneur field. It's about investing. The Market Wizards or something like that. It's a nine hour audio. I hired a narrator, I just was curious, what else did they do? And they did a book about that classic book. So my point is like, now, after all these years being introduced to these quality narrators, I'm not going back and hiring just anyone who's never had any experience. And my frustration is like, there's so many narrators who think, oh, I, I'll probably have a chance if I just, you know, I don't, I don't need a really quality microphone. I could just, I might have a chance. No, you don't. I, and I'm showing you the reality and I'll talk about it. I've had books that currently get 100 plus auditions, 200 plus auditions, 300 plus auditions for one spot. Why would I hire you? I I don't know if it's just an entitled generation society these days. Everyone's been told yes all their lives. So they think they are the they will just get hired. No, it's not the case. Do you have experience in Audible already? Do you have experience being an audiobook narrator with a quality microphone for a quality book? If not, with respectfully, you don't need to apply to my auditions. Because I'm, even if I use AI, which I'm not for narrators, it will be higher quality than most narrators who send me the auditions. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, what does it, like, and some of you, like, I've heard your auditions multiple times. You don't have to send me multiple auditions again. I've heard your voice. I even recognize your voice on some of that. Because you sent me so many auditions 
every time I publish a book. You don't have to. If I like your book, book, if I like your audition, and I don't hire you for that one particular book, don't fret. I'll probably hire you for a different project maybe. But you don't have to keep on sending me auditions. But my main point is this, like, I don't know what it is, narrators, it's a competitor of the field. There's 100 people competing for one spot. And if you, it's, it's my advice to the narrators out there. If you really want to be selected, not just by me, but by anybody out there for the long run consistently, you got to get your stuff together. You got to get the best quality microphone, okay? Invest in a quality microphone because you can have the best voice, but if you have a mediocre microphone or a low quality microphone, it's going to sound bad. It's going to sound professional. So get a Get the best microphone as possible, number one. Number two, work on your voice. It can't sound boring. It can't sound generic. It, you got to have personality, okay? You got to have tonality. I don't want to fall asleep listening to your audiobook, nor do all the readers. So work on your tonality, okay? Don't make it sound boring and dull and generic. Have, have the X factor. Some people are born with a quality voice. I'll be honest with you. Some people, I've recognized some people have, just have an incredible voice. But just because have, they have a voice doesn't mean I hire them either. They need to also have that X factor. They need to have that personality behind the voice. They need to have that tonality behind the voice. They need to have the natural reading speed. I don't want it to sound like a computer. This is just a message, I hope, in a helpful way for the narrators out there. Because I've had it. Every day I listen to auditions and I'm not, I'm like, what makes you think I'm gonna hire you? And I'm saying it respectfully, okay? I've been respectful, like, all these years. I've been, I've given chances for the everyday narrators out there. But as my, as I publish almost 500 audiobooks, one audiobook is not gonna change my life. And I'm all for the everyday person. But that doesn't mean you gotta use a low quality microphone. The everyday person, I'm all about giving chances and opportunities as well. But you, you have to step up your game narrators, okay? That's that's just the message and tip for the day. From a employer producer's perspective, okay? From a publisher's perspective, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing too many people, okay, sending auditions and it, it sounds like it's your first time sending an audition for anyone. Hey, uh, it's, just, it's just like you have to get step up your game, guys. Okay, and it's only gonna get harder with AI. So number one, at least get an excellent microphone. Then you at least get a step in the door. Okay, then I will take you seriously. Then your your voice. Work on your craft. But your tonality, your speed, the, the volume, the pauses, the personality behind it, okay? I want this to be an experience, not just a book read word by word. I want this to be like an experience. Like people, when the audiobook is read so well, it almost feels like a movie. That's the type of experience I want the readers to have. Does that make sense? So that's a quick tip from narrators. I didn't think I was going to talk about it so much in detail, but might as well. So the, for the future narrators, this is my message, okay? So thanks for watching. I appreciate all the narrators, though, for at least setting your audition. I respect that. But at the same time, for this industry, I hope everyone steps up their game, okay? I got to step up my game, too, I admit, as a publisher. There's things I need to work on. But there's things like, I, I'm like, uh, I don't want to invest in this tool or whatever. You know what? I just remind myself, I'm going to invest in certain tools I, I, that I know I need to. Maybe for formatting the books, I know certain tools that can format the books in a more you know, professional way. I know what I what I need to invest in. I haven't invested in it in yet. So I'm preaching to myself. While, while I'm preaching to you, I'm seeing the speck in my own eye. So it's not judgment to you. I'm not trying to judge you guys. And they, I need to do it too. I need to step up my game too. Everyone needs to i need to and the narratives need to everyone okay authors need to publishers narrators everyone in this book industry so anyways thanks for watching this is not just a message for you this is a message for me too i gotta step up my game with the formatting there's a tool i need to uh, invest in 
this doesn't even cost a lot but sometimes i'll admit i could be cheap okay sometimes i don't know why it's just it's just sometimes my personality i guess but i need to invest in it and i will the only reason i didn't want to do it wasn't the cost it's just it takes a little more extra time to format the book now i didn't want to waste more time because i just want to publish more and more books but anyways it's not a judgment to any narrators i'm telling you the truth okay and i hope it's helpful okay and, I, and while I was preaching to you, I, I didn't want to be judgmental. I, I realized, hey, I need to step on my game too. The formatting, I, I need to step up my game. So, and I will. Okay, so thank you for watching. Let's all step up our game, whether you're an author, publisher, or narrator, or whatnot in this book industry. And if you want to learn more step by step in detail how to succeed in your book business, whether you're an author, publisher, narrator, or, or whatnot in all genres, because I do have experience in all genres fiction, non fiction, and low content, even as well. Click the link below the video and check out my training. Thanks for watching and listening. Talk to you soon, all right? Take care. Bye.